Good evening, everyone. It's great to be here. I want to thank the Democratic women of the South Suburbs, as well as Team Obama of the South Suburbs for hosting this forum. This is a great way for us all to be together and talk about what's going on in the 15th District and beyond. So I am proud to say that I have been a part of the Democratic Women of the South Suburbs for many years. I started way back when it was uh, not President Obama, but Senator Obama running for office, and I was part of the Women for Obama group, and then went on to be part of the Women for Obama group for President Obama, went out knocking on doors on multiple states from Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, and that's what we need to do again to make sure that President Obama is going to be the next president of the United States. So I'm proud of the work that's being done with the Democratic women of the South Suburbs and Team Obama to get the word out and get everybody out to vote as, as much as we need it for our president and the support that we'll need. So that also brings me to the point of why I'm running for office. I'm running for office because I share some of the progressive values and progressive issues as President Obama. I've been fortunate to be endorsed by some of the same groups that have endorsed President Obama, like the Independent Voters of Illinois Progressive Organization, IVI IPO, the Citizens Action Group, as well as other groups as far as unions, the AFL-CIO, and that makes me proud to know that working families and independent voters and progressive Democrats are supportive of my campaign for the 15th Senatorial District. Just to give you a little bit of background about myself, I've been in healthcare for the last 20 years. I've seen the healthcare disparities that affect not only the Southland, but Illinois in general. I've seen discrepancies from one side of town to another. I've seen us have lack of services where women can't get breast cancer exams. On the south side of Chicago, we never had HIV and AIDS testing past 50 Fifth Street. I've been a part of that for many, many years. I was on a task force years ago when Chicago had the number one deaths due to asthma. And that is a treatable disease. Asthma should not be managed by the emergency room. Patients should be going to their physicians to get treatment for asthma. I put together a task force where we went all across the, 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 the city, the Chicagoland area, and when we look at uh, statistics, when we're talking about medical statistics, Chicagoland includes the south suburbs, just so you know. But we, go, we went across the Southland to talk about why do we not have adequate services? Why do we not have adequate medical Medication. Why do we not have adequate hospitals and treatment options? And the answer was funding. The answer was lack of support. I worked with the companies that I worked for at the time to make sure that any money that they were giving to uh, certain areas that the Southland got part of that area, part of that money because I was in that area. So that's the kind of enthusiasm, that's the kind of uh, information and education that I'll be bringing with me to Springfield so I can make a significant impact not only on health care but also on education. Education should not be determined by your zip code. Education is something that all children should have the same high quality education no matter where they live. Also, the, uh, the, uh, the access to be able to afford college, that dream of college is slowly sh slipping away from many people who want the option to go to college. I was fortunate to attend college, and Illinois does have some of the best universities in the country, but everyone can't afford college because it's too high cost. I want to make sure that the, the cost of college is affordable for those who want to go. And also jobs. I don't want to just see jobs come to Illinois. I want to see them come to the Southland, specifically. I'm a, sort, a corporate sales trainer by profession. I want to make sure that we're not only talking about bringing jobs, but we're also talking about job training. We need to get people back engaged in the workforce, those who've been displaced from their companies, those re-entering the workforce, and all the new people coming into the workforce. We need to have training programs focused to get them working so that they can take the jobs of the future. So these are the things that I will be able to bring with me to Springfield. I'm an excellent networker. I use my networking skills, communication skills, and bringing people together. That's what I'll be able to do when I go to Springfield. I'll be able to hit the ground running with the relationships I've forged over the last 20 years, and also be able to make sure that the 
the voices of the people in the Southland is not only being heard, but represented. I know how to make sure I get my seat at the table. If I'm not invited, I'm coming in anyway. I'm going to talk about the things that are important to the people of the Southland who elect me into office. And I will make sure that once I'm there in Springfield, that I'll be bringing those progressive democratic values because the things we see on TV that are happening in Washington are happening right here in Springfield as well. And if we're not at the table to make sure that our voices are heard, we're going to be lost lost to the side. I want the Southland to be standing up with good leadership. I want to partner with all of the other representatives in the Southland to make sure that we're working together for the issues that affect us most. So thank you for your time. I appreciate your support. Continue the hard work to make sure that people are getting out to vote, not only just to vote on March 20th, but early voting starts on Monday. We got to get people out so that they are uh, voting for our president and on down the ticket. So thank you very much.